has challenges in life. And the way for us to succeed is to see opportunities through we every challenge. When you see opportunities through every challenge. We are here right now. It is very much uncertain what is going to become of us in the next three years. We are between 18 to 25. And this is the period of uncertainty. We have all these plans and all these objectives, but we are not clear how it is going to end up. But Proverbs 16 verse 9 says, you have the plan, okay, you guys are going to read it, but I'm not going to quote it exactly. You have the plan and God directs your course. And the other one, Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, in all your ways, lean not in your own understanding, but acknowledge the Lord and He will direct your paths. So, right here is the destination, the purpose. You have to believe in God that He has a purpose for your lives as you are seated here, regardless of how uncertain your journey may be. And here, that will be your motivation because you are believing and trusting in God that He's directing you somewhere, regardless of how unclear it's going to be. Regardless of what people are going to tell you, some people are going to discourage you based on their experiences. They're going to tell you this is not possible. They may have good intentions in telling you that, but they may not be the right intentions for you based on God's plan for your life. So seek God and lean on His understanding and He will direct your course. The course that you are doing right now. Is what you must have self-discipline in all that you are doing. Plan your days. Don't just go about following people anyhow. And that is the plan, the how. So what we have looked at is purpose, faith, persistence, and passion. These four things are going to lead you somewhere. Amen? Yeah. So that is my encouragement for today. As you go from this place, remember, God has a plan for your lives, and He is directing you someplace. So you need to have faith, believe, and trust that He who has brought you here is going to see you through. So, thank you very much.